And I love that y'all gave a great greeting, especially right after lunch or two periods after lunch, however many it is. My name is Kurt Mikulik. I'm a Lakeview parent. My son Joseph is in seventh grade. I'm also on the Colony City Council. And really want to bring the message to you that we're real proud of all the stuff you're doing. You need to thank your English teachers because last year they came up with this idea to do the biographical sketches so you get to see real people rather than being assigned some names and then looking them up and kind of just reading it. Now you get to actually interview somebody. And the person you're going to interview is a really good friend of mine. Um, I know her professionally. I know her as a friend. I know her as a cancer survivor. So she's a lady who can kick butt on overcoming great obstacles, and she has a really cool story from everything what she, she might even talk to you a little bit about what she did when she was in sixth grade and what her plans were, and what she went to college for, and all the people's lives that she's touched in the meantime, as well as people that touched her lives when she was overcoming her obstacle. So without further ado, I want to welcome my good friend, Ms. Pam Nelson, our Community Services Director. Thank you.
I went to college at North Central College, which was a small private college, again, about 30 miles outside of Chicago, and I was a computer student, so when I went to college, I was riding my motorcycle back and forth to get to college, too, and it was a little motorcycle, it wasn't big. Um, when I was in college, I walked on the team to play volleyball, right out, and I was able to make the team, and I played volleyball. I played volleyball all the way through high school as well. In high school, I played basketball for a couple of years, and I played field hockey for one, one year also. So again, very active, always outdoors, always playing sports, or doing something that just kept me up and kept me moving and kept me active. Um, I've also gone to the University of Texas in Arlington, and I've uh, received my certified public manager certification there a couple of years ago. So for me, education is a lifelong thing. You don't stop just when you get out of high school or get out of college. You find ways to engage yourself in education and to better yourself and to learn more things and progress, whether it's for self-fulfillment self or if it's for uh, bettering yourself at your job or what you're doing or learning new skills. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I used to play racquetball at least four or five times a week, um, always playing here at the rec center. And I always played against guys because they were better competition. I was very, very, very competitive. So I played four or five times a week and I was playing guys that would sometimes kick my butt, but it didn't matter because it was a good workout. Um, now, I like being out on the lake. I've, I owned a boat for about 20 years. I just sold it this spring, and I used money from selling the boat to buy a travel trailer. So now I'm traveling across the country different times in my travel trailer and seeing all different parts of the country. Again, going back to the things that I enjoyed the most when I was a kid. Um, I have traveled to 42 different states and to four different countries outside of the United States. I've traveled to Canada and Mexico and Honduras and Belize. Those are four countries that have been to outside of the United States. Uh, let's see, some of the jobs that I've had over the years. I told you my very first job was working at a, a country club. I also worked at the mall for a while, worked at a J.C. Penney store, um, I worked at various convenience stores, and I worked for a company called BRK Electronics, that was right before I moved up here, and there we made the smoke detectors that most of you find in your houses, the first one of smoke detectors, that was the job that I had. I also worked, when I first moved down here, a friend of mine recruited me to come down here to work, and that's how I ended up in Texas, um, from the Chicago area, and I was doing stained glass windows. Something I didn't know anything about, my friend owned her own business, and she said, hey Pam, I really need some help, business is booming down here, will you come work for me? And I said, I don't want anything about stained glass, and she said, I don't care, I'll teach you. So she did. And I learned how to make stained glass windows. I learned how to repair them. I learned how to make them. I learned how to design them. And I learned how to install them. And it was a great job for a few years. And then that business kind of started slowing down a little bit. And people weren't really buying as many as they were at first. And so I picked up a part-time job at the rec center. The rec center had just opened. And I was working there part-time. And I was still doing stained glass part-time. <coughs> So I was working two jobs, and after about a month at the rec center, I was promoted to the center supervisor position. And after I became center supervisor, um, I was doing programming, I was doing athletics, I was doing special events, I was doing pretty much anything that you can imagine related to parks and recreation. Um, and then after a few years doing that, I was promoted to an assistant director Shortly after that, I, I was promoted to the director's position. And I have been with the city of the colony for 
26 years. Look at the big eyes a lot. Every time I say, yeah, 26 years. 26 years. Uh, let's see, what else? Mr. Mikulik mentioned something about a health struggle that I went through a few years ago. Very, very fortunate that I was extremely healthy at the time. I've always lived a very healthy lifestyle. I was running three to four miles a day, four to five days a week. I was working out. I was always eating the right foods, very healthy, lots of vegetables, chicken and fish, lots of fruit, lots of grains, all the stuff that you're supposed to be eating. So I was very healthy when I was diagnosed with cancer. And I was very fortunate that my medical team helped diagnose it early, and I went through several months of chemo treatments, lost all my hair, I was completely bald for a while, but I had a lot of really great family and friends and people who helped me get through that time, and that was eight years ago, so today my cancer checkups are still good, and I think that the advice that I would give you in telling you this story is that you should always live as healthy as you possibly be, because that's a big part of why I be canceled that I'm Yes, sir. Would that be an accomplishment that you got through or a struggle? I would say it was both. It was both. It was a struggle during that time, but it was a huge accomplishment to be able to get through it. And I count it a blessing every day that I'm able to wake up and get up and do things like this.
one to others as you would want them to you. In other words, if you want people to treat you nice and be friendly towards you and, and be, be nice to you, and, and, then that's how you should treat others. Right? And my philosophy on life, obviously, is do everything you possibly can to be healthy, live your life to the fullest, and have fun doing it. Okay? Alright, so that's all about me. Let me tell you a little bit about my work. Go into some details about that. But this is the interactive part of the presentation. So I need you guys to scoot your chairs out so that you can stand up. Sit down. So you may want me to flip your chair around. See what your face would be. Any class that 
What about we also lease the land behind McDonald's where shoreline trail is. There's about 400 acres there that we lease that's called wildlife management property. And we, we are the first ones, the first city in the entire nation, in the colony, on an item other than food. A half a cent of that goes into a special fund that the Community Development Corporation oversees. We use that money that the Community Development Corporation brings in to build new playgrounds and new parks, to do beautification in the city and plant trees, and to do that. That money was used to build Five Star, the big sports complex. It was used to build the Shoreline Trail. So that money is reinvested back into the city. And the great thing about that is that everybody who comes to our city that doesn't live here and spends money here. We're using their money to build our parks and our trails and all that. Now, how cool is that? Pretty smart. We're stealing their money. Yeah. Pretty much We're stealing their money. What did you have to use, right? We stealing Okay. I think that's it. Anybody have any questions? Embarrassing. I can't really think about any 
embarrassing moments in childhood. I'm sure there were some, but you know, it's like you kind of black those things out. You just you tend to want to forget them and not be thinking about them again, right? Okay, yes, sir. Um, you have children. I have four-legged furry children. Um, yes, they are my babies. I will say they are my babies.